city wakens, emerges, born again to the New England morning with every glorious new sunrise. You measure a city by the dawns it has seen over its term in history. You measure it by the pulse beat of its people on the pavement, by the spinning hubs of its railways and highways. After all, when you select a site to plant your personal roots, you measure that community by its people, their culture, their will and pride to produce, to work and contribute, to plow back their labors into the community. Yes, this is Waterbury, Connecticut, gateway to the Berkshire foothills, ideally located on Interstate 84, a busy, bustling hub of activity just east of rural Litchfield County, a wooded and suburban land studded with lakes, ponds, and trout streams. But no one needs lessons in geography. It's the excitement that living, breathing people bring to the civic and corporate landscape of Waterbury that makes all the difference in this community. Workers who have marched to the tune of factory whistles for generations in a city known for its origination of America's brass industry. For here is an area populated with diverse industries, from the highest of high-tech companies like General Datacom, settled in a wooded park, to firms like Timex and IBM. In fact, an entire roster of corporate neighbors who have settled in and around the Waterbury area for good reason. Because generations of the same Waterbury families who brought their tool-making talents to this city's brass industry have retooled their own skills to meet the challenge of today's industrial and commercial demands for a modern skilled workforce. And that same ingenuity and dogged New England work ethic carries into the workplace with such local firms as Risden, McDermott, Highland Manufacturing, Con Diesel, Animet, Hubbard Hall, Sperry Electronics, the Waterbury Companies, every one of them a symbol of Waterbury's tenacity and resilience. But let these Waterburyans themselves speak for their city. Hi, my name is George Stuffy. I like to say a few things about Waterbury. Basically, I lived here, worked here all my life. I work here at Thin Sheet Metals. I'm a slitter operator. We produce high quality brass and stainless steel here. The work I do here gets sent out to my friends, so if I don't do good quality, I'm gonna hear about it. And uh, so I have to do a good job. I like Waterbury, I like living here, I like working here, and I think you might also. Hi, I'm Gail McTaggart. I moved to Waterbury from California 12 years ago. What I like about Waterbury is its big city business opportunities and its small town atmosphere. For instance, the kind of law my firm practices is sophisticated real estate transactions, securities regulations, and commercial law. I'm Jim Smith, president of a local Waterbury bank. Right now I'm in Middlebury, about 10 minutes from the office, enjoying the great outdoors. It's really amazing that so many of the people that I went to school with, some of whom left Waterbury, have all seemed to come back here to work here. It's like one big family where maybe somebody goes away for a while, but they seem to come back. Uh, it's a fun, relaxing city. This is my home, and it's going to stay my home. These people speak for the resurgence and excitement that has come to Waterbury, an ideal symbiotic mix of room to work and play a unified, tightly-knit network of neighborhoods, safe, enjoyable to live in, where real estate retains basic American value, affordable and resaleable. This is ideal suburban and city living with both outstanding public school systems and preparatory schools like Taft and Westover near the heart of the Ivy League belt of universities, with a wide variety of state and community colleges and technical schools. In Waterbury, its people and their cultural values and lifestyles are inextricably mixed and find expression in events like street festivals, where entire neighborhoods turn out for their social enrichment. Here's a public that's both creative and recreational, at one with the leadership that guides this New England city inspired by public-spirited volunteers who are deeply involved with its social and cultural activities. In fact, Waterbury is unusual in this respect. Many different ethnic building blocks comprise the city, 
entire communities long ago established strong ethnic identities for themselves. Each has crystallized into a very stable and unified neighborhood that few northeastern cities can match. Even the silent voices of the city, its buildings, sitting on the city's shoulder, watching, they say something for our special urban culture. Listen with your eyes. Each year, Waterbury attracts more and more vital commercial business to its revitalized downtown area. We've attracted both the Hilton and Sheraton hotel chains to build striking new facilities in the city, along with a commitment from IBM to occupy new office facilities just outside the city's urban boundaries. And while many new commercial complexes are rising in the city, Waterbury retains the distinctive architecture of its heritage. Waterbury's storefronts tell a story, brick by brick, of the historic labors of people who literally built this city by hand with trowel and mortar. Restoration is the motif of our inner city. Beautifully reconstructed and refaced buildings interface block by block with ongoing new construction. And the result is an interesting fabric that retains the historic significance of Waterbury together with its mission as a city committed to resurgence, vitality, and an unequaled quality of life in this region. But then there's the time when every city stops to catch its second breath, when the busy humming drops to a murmur, and the interstate, with its web shuttling commerce, tapers down to nightfall, when Waterburyans turn to their lighted hills and valleys. An event-filled city with a nightlife as vital and exciting as its workday. Restaurants, nightclubs, theater, symphonies. Some of these entertainment facilities have become fixtures of the Waterbury skyline, many of them managed by the same families for generations. Busy from dawn to dusk and beyond into the nighttime hours, Waterbury characterizes the ideal New England city rich in every experience of living, exciting, progressive, alive. One beautiful setting in which to settle and work and raise a family. Waterbury, a nice name, a nicer city. Come join us.